Hey, welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. I'm Chuck, amateur call sign KK6USY. Glad you're here. Now, there's a tool that every ham shack, every homeowner, and anybody that owns an automobile that likes to tinker, you guys all need one, and we're gonna talk about that today. Okay, a uh, multimeter, pretty, pretty good tool, and I've got one for you today. Now, the company is Tasman. They sent me this. All the, all the opinions will be my own. They're not looking at my video beforehand or anything. They're not telling me what to say. You guys know me. If, if they want to do that, I just won't review their product. So, a really good tool, and a tool I use a lot, is a multimeter and this is a multimeter and this model is the the tm tango mary 510 and make sure you stick around to the end i have a surprise at the end for you guys and also i will have a link to amazon and right now they're running a five percent discount this thing is very very affordable guys so let's look at what's in the box i'll do a quick unboxing there's not a whole lot of parts so it won't take long and then we'll look at a few things on how, what you could use it for, especially as a ham. I set up a little thing for you guys that uh, will diagnose something. Pretty easy, and it's, you guys, it's nothing really, but uh, it'll be easy to do, and we'll check out, we'll just check a couple things with it. Let's get going. Okay, so here's uh, the case it comes in. It's got a little place here to hold the uh, leads. Here's something that's pretty cool. It comes with Duracell batteries. That's not normal. So that's that's a good thing. Comes with your two leads. And these are pretty pliable. Looks like silicone probably. And then this here's the meter. Has this little protective case. It's got a light on the back. The screw here to put the batteries in. So let me get, let me get the batteries in this thing, and uh, we'll we'll see how it works. Okay, so basically the red one goes this side, the black one goes on this side, which is your common. To turn this on, you push and hold the red button. Okay, and it's in auto mode, so it senses what it's going to do. You've got your your AC DC voltage, your ohms, and then this. So that's your con continuity, basically letting you know if you want to check a wire if it goes all the way through. And we're going to do a little check on that real quick. Um, and then this last this last one right here. This is a uh, it senses um, one like your 110 house stuff. So you push the button, hold it. I've got a uh, something here that has power to it so you take this and you point it at it and it tells you that there's power there so say, say if you're working on a circuit and you don't have anything to plug into to see if it works you can just use that and it'll tell you if you still have power and you still need to um, you know switch the breaker so it doesn't have power so that's a handy feature. So to get that out of that, you just come in and hold it and you're out, okay? So like I showed you, you touch the two, get your beep. So that would be good if you're uh, gonna check between two wires. See if you have a break in it. Oops, you can actually touch the two wires together. Okay. All right, this is not a course on how to fix this. Now, <clears throat> here's, a, here's a, a wire that has a break here in the middle. And sometimes you get a wire that, you know, when you bend it, it, it doesn't uh, have contact. So we're going to simulate you're looking for a broken wire someplace. So this could be handy for you guys. So if I push it together, see it's 
so what you would do is go down the wire and look for a place that has a break and if you can see right here there's a break right there I cut it so so that's handy also so it does ohms volts uh, AC and DC so you can check your 120 or you can check your, your 12 volt battery so all in all pretty good little multimeter that you could throw in your car it doesn't cost a whole lot especially if you use that coupon and then it has a little thing here. you can pull the off the protection thing here that's what that is now I wouldn't if I was doing really high-tech electrical work this is not the meter for you but for your everyday throw it in your truck throw it in your car throw it in your motorhome your boat your trailer whatever it's a great little meter to take with you because the it's not going to break the bank all right guys I hope you like this and uh don't forget to use the uh, link down below in the comment section if you're interested in buying one of these. Now, Tesman was kind enough to give me two of these, one for myself to review and then one for my viewers. So I'll either do a live stream or uh, I'll put something in the description. Make sure, and, and you guys know that look in the description, that's below the title, and that's where the link for the Amazon site is. Uh, anytime I put stuff in for anything that I make, like an antenna or anything like that, make sure you look in the description for the parts before you email me. And then I say, well, it's in the parts list in the com comments. Okay, guys. Uh, I don't mind answering your questions, but when the information's there, uh, you know. Okay, so now I'm, we may give this away on Coffee and Ham Radios. That's a pretty easy way to do it. And uh, so make sure you check into Coffee and Ham Radios. That is myself, The Smoking Ape, T.O. from Temporary Offline, and Jim from FEP Labs. Okay, guys, I, I hope this video was good for you. hope it does uh, answers a few questions. And if you are interested in this, make sure you hit my link. I do get a little bit of money back from uh, Amazon fulfillment. It's not a whole lot, but it does help uh, buy projects or things that I can test and review. So I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Ventures. 73 all. Be safe and hope to catch you guys on the airways.